Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry that this video is a little bit later than usual, but I had a whole thing with a seagull. You'll see on YouTube soon, but today is a love free from unboxing. Hooray! So I have got this month's July's love free from gluten free box. So we're going to be doing some taste testing. We're going to be sampling some lovely things. Just to mention, this box was kindly gifted to me, and if you are looking to try one for yourself, I'll pop the link in my bio. They always have like first buyers discount, so you can check that out. Let's crack into this box. So I've had a bit of a week. My mum was supposed to be here. I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube, but my mum's coming over. I probably have from New Zealand to visit me, and she was supposed to arrive yesterday, but she got COVID, so she had to delay her trip. And we were supposed to be in Milan this weekend as well. So everything's been shuffled. I'm feeling a bit frazzled, and once again. There was a seagull situation that you'll find out about if you haven't already seen. Anyway, how's everyone enjoying the heat? I'm hating it. Apparently Monday is supposed to be 40. I wonder if it was. Future Morgan, let me know. I'm looking forward to this box. I already see something that I'm very excited to try that I haven't tried yet. And her pet is amazing. Whoa, it's a heavy, oops. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. What a fantastic little love free from gift. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've had to close the windows to film this so you don't get any outside noise. It's warming up. It's warming up. Link will love it when I fan him with this because that's essentially what this is going to be used for. First up, we have got some limited edition galaxy vegan and gluten free chocolate gingerbread flavour. Which is nice. It's a biscuit flavoured chocolate. It's gluten free and vegan. It's an interesting to have a limited edition gingerbread flavored something in the middle of summer, but I appreciate it. I wonder if this is gonna stick around till Christmas time. I feel like I've never had a spiced chocolate. I think I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it. Next up, we have got some Free From Fellows vegan marshmallows. Strawberry vegan marshmallows. Mm. I don't know if you had these things over here, but did you ever get, as a kid, maybe when you went trick or treating, which I know is quite American, but we did do it in New Zealand as well when I was young. These marshmallows, they have like a syrup inside and you like bite into them and they like have goo. That's what that flavor reminds me of and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, we have seen this brand before. Naughty's Nutri Butter Energy Boost Pre-Workout Peanut Butter Salted Caramel Flavor. Really good to chuck in a smoothie, actually. I've chucked these in a smoothie multiple times before I go to karate. Can confirm. It's quite nice. It's got like a little sweetness to it. Now we have some natural sweet plantain chips. Mm -hmm. I am such a fan of plantain. Didn't know it existed until I moved to the UK. People ask me, Morgan, why'd you move to the UK? Because of experiences like this. <laughs> Now we have some brand new love corn, which is the flavour of chocolate. Interesting. Milk chocolate and sea salt flavoured. Usually they've got like more savoury flavoured. This is corn. This is chocolate covered corn. What an odd flavour. <laughs> I've got to try one more. Hold on. I really don't know. I think I like it. I guess it kind of tastes like popcorn that's got chocolate with it, which is a good flavour. Funny. Now we have some Skinny High Protein White Chocolate Krispies. What is a crispy? I wonder. Let's find out. Okay, this is a crispy. These are soy flakes. Hmm, the sweetener that they've got in this isn't bad. I don't know how familiar you guys are with sweetener. But the way I describe the sweetener taste most of the time is like cold metal sweet. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with anyone? Now we have got Clear Spring Organic Sea Veg Krispies. Never heard of these before. I feel like Clear Spring just constantly brings out different products. So I'm assuming these are like seaweed. And this is ginger flavored seaweed. You guys fans of seaweed because I, I love it. You can only eat it like that. 
not too gingery. Not like, bam, ginger. It's like, mm, ginger. Now we've got a bubble wrap thing. Dr. Will's All Natural Avocado Oil Mayo. Avocado oil mayo. Avocado oil mayo. Keto friendly, sugar free, egg, free range egg yolk. Interesting. I wonder if I'll be able to taste this. <gasps> it's a little bit runny because it's hot today. <laughs> we'll use it as a dip. Can I taste the avocado? I mean, avocado is a hard taste to taste, to be fair. It's nice though, and I don't know if it's runny because it's hot, or if it's just like a runnier consistency in general, but it's quite nice. Ooh, looky here, one of my favorite brands that now has avocado mail all over it. <laughs> my sweet chickpea. This is the dark chocolate flavor. I love these. This is the same guy that does the Grissini wipes that I talked about in my last video. I won't try these ones now because I literally just tried some in my last video. But these are really good and there's lots of flavours. Wow, I've got a whole lemon rice cake, also from Clear Spring. Organic brown rice cakes, lightly salted. Yes, Clear Spring. Clear Spring's such a good brand for gluten free people because there's a lot of things that they make that are not necessarily always gluten free. There is like Japanese cuisine, so they've got like a lot of tamari soy sauce that is gluten free, lots of different vinegars that are gluten free, things like that. <laughs> Rashi. So we've got the Box Bakery, white bread mix with sunflower and linseed. This I feel like is an OG love free from item and maybe I have to watch back to figure this out but I think the Box Bakery was in the second ever box of love free from and it does make really good bread and it's super easy literally you just add what water, shake it, shake it well because some of the flour stays on the bottom, boom in the oven you got a bread. This is something I've always wanted to try. Buttermilk, plant powered, hot choppy bomb. So I believe you just pop this into a glass, pour hot milk over it, and then it just opens up. Is there marshmallows on the inside? It's filled with mini marshmallows on the inside. Um, I'm not gonna try this now because it's like one million degrees, but I might try this later on. And if I do try it before I put this video out, I'll make sure I put the clip in now. <laughs> Buttermilk is one of my gluten-free favorite brands anyway, so I can't imagine I wouldn't like this. Now we have got the Protein Ball Co. And we've got a big old packet of Cherry Bakewell flavored protein balls. I think these ones are made of dates, so I'll be honest, probably not my favorite. Also, not a huge fan of cherry either. Yep, the first ingredient is dates. Two more items left. The first one is something I've seen before but never tried. Sweet FA gluten free cookies. So this is a brand that I find often in like Planet Organic or like organic type shops. And this is the vegan, organic, vegan double chocolate chip cookie. They've got quite a few flavors. I just really like the brand name, Sweet FA. Like, sweet after all. Let's try it. Hopefully this is good. Mm. I am something of a biscuit connoisseur. And the thing I like about this one is that very cocoa flavoured, not overly sweet. It's got an interesting bite to it. Something you find more in vegan cookies is that it's crunchy, but there's just a slight chew. And that's what this one has. This, this is a very good cookie. I love cookies. Our last product today is awesome caramel peanut protein bar. Now, if you're a long time watcher of me unboxing these, you'll know my thoughts on protein. If I can taste the protein, I'm not going to enjoy the bar. But this is a brand I've never, 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 never seen before. Oh. Can I taste the protein? I can taste it a little bit, but probably not enough for it to be off-putting because there's a really nice, I don't know if you can see, but like that caramel coming out is actually delicious. Gorgeous. What a box. Another 
some marshmallow. Favourites? Loved this cookie. Loved the seaweed crisps, definitely. You know, I'm coming back to these. I'm really coming around to this. Am I? <laughs> Great box this month. What a range of things we've got. Um, I'm absolutely melting in here, so I'm going to say goodbye. Don't forget, if you want to give the Love Free From box a go, now is a great time to give it a try. It's a fantastic way to find new gluten-free snacks and also get some things that aren't necessarily easy to find. So hopefully you're keeping cool. Hopefully you've got some air conditioning. Someone needs to tell me why the UK doesn't do air conditioning because it's absolutely <laughs> flippin' ridiculous. But I'm going to love you and leave you and... My next video might be about a seagull. I know, that's a bit off topic, but just roll with it, okay? See you later. <laughs>